respond to COVID-19, our administration established the Manufacturing Emergency Response Team. This team came together through the Executive Office of Housing and Economic Development, the leaders of the state's Advanced Manufacturing Collaborative, and the Mass Tech Collaborative, which manages it. It includes people from academia, industry, and government with a shared mission of creating new products to fight COVID-19 here in Massachusetts. The MERT, as we're calling it, has been working in coordination with the Command Center to help Massachusetts manufacturers pivot their operations to make PPE, like gowns and face shields, but also swabs, ventilators, sanitizers, and thermometers. MERT helps companies identify what types of items we need, gives regulatory guidance, and helps coordinate supplies and staff help. Our administration has made $10.6 million grants available to companies for this operation. $5.6 million is coming through the existing M2I2 program thanks to the Mass Technology Collaborative and the Advanced Functional Fabrics of America. The Board and Investment Committee of the Mass Life Science Center made an additional $4 million in capital funding available, and the Executive Office of Labor and Workforce Development and the Commonwealth Corporation has made a $1 million available to train existing and new workers. The program launched on April 2nd, and we've already seen the benefits. They've established a procurement portal for manufacturing companies to use, and have heard from nearly 400 manufacturers who are looking to help. 260 of these companies are from Massachusetts. This afternoon, Secretary of Housing and Economic Development Mike Keneally is here, as well as Mass Tech Executive Director Carolyn Kirk, who, along with Mike Tomasi, at AccuRounds and partners from MIT, WPI, UMass Lowell, and the Mass MEP have made this effort possible. Members of the MERT team also include experts from R&D universities who are connecting with companies to provide guidance in areas like FDA approvals and testing. To find out how your company might be able to support this effort and to request funding to adapt your operations, please visit masstech.org slash m-ert for more information. You can fill out the appropriate application and the MERT team will get in touch with you. Some companies are already making face shields, test swabs, and medical gowns. Form Labs in Somerville is 3D printing diagnostic swabs. Mero in Fall, Fall River is making gowns. They were one of the first companies to reach out to us. Love Pop here in Boston is going from making greeting cards to face shields, gowns, coveralls, hoods, and shoe coverings. And New Balance's factory in Lawrence is working to make shoe coverings, gowns, and masks.